Hi, uh, today is Tuesday, April 18th, 2023, and it's almost close to the midnight. Uh, I'm going to uh, go to bed soon, but before I sleep, uh, I would like to read some interesting article uh, about the certifications and the licenses uh, that are available in the U.S. I am willing to move or immigrate or transfer to America for my second career. I am nearing my retirement age. In five years' time, I have to retire from KT, uh, Korea Telecom, that's the largest carrier uh, telecom carrier in Korea. Uh, when the fate comes, I need to jump the sh ship and find the second job either in Korea or overseas. So uh, I'm thinking of what kind of career I have to have after my retirement. So I have been reading uh, articles about uh, like a 10 best jobs for retirees or, or which countries are better for retirement and uh, what kind of uh, good jobs the retirees hope to get when they retire and so on. So I come up on this article uh, a moment ago. I have never read this article before. The reason uh, I am trying to read this article, or as a matter of fact, one English article each day is to get to know uh, something. And also I would like to practice English by reading it, reading the article each day out loud. Uh, because I don't have uh, American friends living in Korea, uh, or I, my opportunity to practice English is limited. So the best option for me to find uh, among my daily chores life is to select an article of interest to me and read it allowed so that I could focus on the correct pronunciation, intonation, and also grammar, and the uh, 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 guess work on the spot, and also uh, to hone in on my uh, reading skills. So it's a multifaceted purposes on my part uh, or multi-pronged effort by myself uh, to encourage uh, continuous English learning and motivate, motivate myself to learn more each day to better myself or to enjoy life as it passes. So here we go. This one is from U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, Bureau of Labor Statistics Publications Career Outlook. So it's about career outlook by the U.S. government. So it's a government funded article, I think. Uh, and the sub menus are home, about, archives, contact us, subscribe. Will I need a license or certification for my job? Uh, handling licenses is called licensure. Uh, you need to have a license according to the licensures provided by the authority. Elka Torpy, September 2016. So it's close to seven years now, seven years old. Uh, what do nurses, teachers, and lawyers have in common? They all usually need a license to work in their field. Some may also have certifications. 
But what are licenses and certifications? How do they differ? Will you need them for your career? If you have questions about licenses and certifications, you are not alone, and it's no wonder. The way these terms are used can vary, and requirements、uh, might differ from one state or job to another. For example, a dietitian in Florida needs a state licensed. State issued license, but one in New Jersey does not. This article explains what these credentials are, and uses data from the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics (BLS), U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, to show the occupations in which. Workers are most likely to have a license or certification. It also highlights BLS growth projections for selected occupations. What are licenses and certifications? Licenses and certifications show that a person has the specific knowledge or skill needed to do a job. Typically, you earn these credentials after you've completed your education. Sometimes you become licensed or certified after you've gained practical experience, such as through an internship, residency, or time on the job. Internship, residency, and time on the job. Internship, residency, and time on the job. Earning a license or a certification involves meeting standards, which often includes passing an exam. Licenses and certifications are usually valid for a limited term and must be renewed periodically. An employer may require either credential. However, there are a few key differences in the way BLS uses these terms, as shown below. One of the biggest distinctions between these two credentials is that licenses are legally required by the government to work in an occupation; certifications are not. So certifications and licenses are credentials, and the licenses are required if you want to have an occupation. Certifications are not license awarded by a governmental licensing agency according to their licensure gives legal authority to work. In an occupation, requires meeting predetermined criteria such as having a degree or passing a state-administered exam. Certification awarded by professional organization or other non-governmental body is not legally required in order to work in an occupation. Requires demonstrating competency to do a specific job, often through an examination process. Sometimes these credentialing terms are used interchangeably. For example, states may refer to the credentials teachers need as certifications. However, BLS would define them as licenses. Because they are issued by a state government and are legally required for many teaching jobs, which occupations have workers with these credentials? About 26 percent of employed people in the United States had a license or a certification in 2015, according to the BLS. 
current population survey. As chart one shows, workers with advanced degrees were most likely to be licensed or certified. For example, more than half of employed people with a master's, professional, or doctoral degree had one or more of these credentials. Chart one. Employed persons 25 years or older with a license or a certification by education level 2015 percent with a license with a certification but no license less than a high school diploma high school diploma no college some college no degree associate degree bachelor's degree only advanced degree hover over chart to view data hmm. with a license then high school diploma some college no degree 15 percent 33.3 percent okay Hover over, that's good expression, hover over chart to view data. Note, a person may have more than one certification or license. Footnotes. 1. Persons with a license may also have a certification. 2. Includes persons with a high school diploma or equivalent. 3. Includes persons with a master's, professional, or doctoral degree. Source, U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics. View chart data. Chart 1. Employed persons 25 years or older with a license or certification by education level. Less than a high school diploma. High school diploma, no college. Some college, no degree. Associate degree, bachelor's degree only, advanced degree. With a certification, but no license. With a license. Mm, I got it. Footnotes. Licenses and certifications are more common in some occupation groups than in others. Whether you need an occupational license or certification might depend on your state, employer, or the type of work you hope to do. Licenses. In 2015, about 22% 22, 22 of employed people had a license. Occupations with the highest percentages of licensed workers include those in healthcare, legal and protective service, community and social services, and personal care and service. See Chart 2. Chart 2. Occupations with the highest percentages of workers with a license, 2015 annual averages, percent of workers with a license, 2015, total all occupations, personal care and service, community and social services, legal and protective service, education, training, and library. Healthcare. Hover over chart to view data. Source US, U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics. Healthcare. Nearly three quarters of the 8.8 .8 million workers in healthcare practitioner and technical occupations held a license in 2015. These occupations include physicians, pharmacists, and dental hygienists. And almost half of the 3.5 million workers 
in healthcare support occupations, a group that includes psychiatric aides and massage therapists, also had licenses. All states require workers to be licensed in some of these occupations. Nearly all states require licensing for workers in other occupations. BLS projects relatively fast job growth for many healthcare occupations, including those that usually require a license. For example, occupational therapy assistants, physical therapist assistants, and nurse practitioners are projected to be among the fastest growing occupations. Education, training, and library. More than half of the 8.9 million workers in education, training, and library occupations held a license in 2015, most notably to work in public schools. Teachers from preschool through high school need a state-issued credential. Some library li- librarians and post-secondary teachers may also need a license depending on their specialty or state. A few post-secondary teacher occupations, including law and health specialists, specialties teachers, and nursing instructors, are among the fastest growing ones in this group. These workers either are required to have or many may benefit from having a license in the occupation that they are preparing students to enter. For example, nursing instructors might have a nursing license. Legal and Protective Service In 2015, about about 64% of the 1.8 million workers in this group, which includes uh, lawyers and judges held a license. So it's a percent, not percents, percent. Uh, and about 38% of the 3.1 million protective service workers, including firefighters and first line supervisors of police and detectives, had one. Within this group, employment employment of arbitrators medi- mediators and conciliators is projected to grow faster than the average for all occupations between 2015 and 2024 but requirements vary for whether workers in these occupations need a license Community and social services. About one third of the 2.6 million workers in community and social services occupations, which includes counselors and social workers, held a license in 2015. Growth is projected to be much faster than the average for many community and social services occupations, including substance abuse and behavioral disorder counselors, mental health counselors, healthcare social workers, and mental health and substance abuse social workers. Personal care and service, more than one quarter of the 5.4 5.4 million workers in personal care and service occupations held a license in 2015. Examples include funeral directors, child care workers, and gaming dealers. Between 2014 and 2024, much faster than average employment growth is projected 
for personal care aides. Some states require, require workers to complete training or pass a competency exam to enter this occupation. And skin care specialists, barbers, and hairdressers, occupations in which workers commonly have a license, are projected to have faster than average employment growth. Other licensed occupations, workers in lots of other occupations may need to get a license. Examples include those in transportation, such as pilots and bus drivers, sales such as real estate brokers, and insurance sales agents, architecture and engineering, such as architects and civil engineers, and business and finance, such as personal finance, financial advisors and accountants, occupations that have license requirements and are projected to have much faster than average growth include clinical counseling and school psychologists, electricians, and mechanical insulation workers. Certifications. About 3% of employed people held a certification, but no license in 2015, according to BLS. In addition to the occupation groups described below, other groups, including community and social services and healthcare mentioned previously, have a relatively high percentage of workers who have a certification but not a license. See chart 3. Chart 3. Occupations with the highest percentages of workers with a professional certification but no license 2015 annual average percent of workers with a professional certifications okay total all occupations architecture and engineering healthcare community and social services installation maintenance and repair computer and mathematical Hover over chart to view data source, U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics. Computer and Math In 2015, nearly 9% of the 4.4 million workers in computer and math occupations had a certification but no license. For example, Computer programmers and network and systems administrators might be certified in a specific programming language or in vendor-specific products that they use. BLS projects much faster than average employment growth for actuaries and information security analysts. Two occupations that are expected to be in demand as the need to manage risks increases and faster than average employment growth of database administrators is projected to be fueled by greater data needs of companies. Installation, maintenance, and repair. About 6% of the 5 million workers in installation, maintenance, and repair occupations had a certification but not a license in 2015. Electrical power line installers and repairs, automotive body and related repairs, and aircraft and avionics equipment mechanics and technicians are a few examples of occupations in this group in which workers might benefit from being certified. Employment growth is expected to vary considerably among occupations in this group.
Some occupations, such as wind turbine technicians and diesel service technicians and mechanics, are projected to grow fa much faster or faster than the average. Others, such as telecom technicians or electrical and electronics installers and repairs, are projected to decline. Other occupations with certifications. Many other occupations allow workers to demonstrate their expertise through certification. They include those in management, such as industrial production and human resources managers, arts and design, such as graphic and floral. Designers, media and communications such as writers and broadcast and sound engineering technicians and production such as uh, machinists and assemblers and fabricators, mechanics, machinists, machinists, assemblers, fabricators. Occupations with certification options and much faster than average projected growth include market research analysts, interpreters and translators, and solar photo photovoltaic installers. Learn more. The Occupational Outbook Handbook OOH ooh, is a great resource for finding out what's typically needed to enter an occupation including license and certification requirements. Ooh. Profiles also describe what workers in an occupation do, what they earn, and what their job outlook is, and more. For requirements in specific occupation, check with your state licensing board or protect protective employers. Read more about BLS licensing and certification data on the current population survey website. Articles in Korea Outlook that discuss licen licensure and certification include teaching for a living, chef, nursing instructor, other career outlook articles related to education or employment projections are Education Matters Projections of Occupational Employment 2014 to 2024. Should I get a master's degree? Maybe not. Education level and jobs. Opportunities by state. Elka Torpi is an occupation economist in the Office of uh, Occupational Statistics and Employment Projections, BLS. She can be reached by at Tor Torpi Elka at BISGov. Suggested citation. El Katori, will I need a license or certification for my job? Career Outlook, U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, September 2016. So from this article, we learned that uh, credentials include uh, and so on. I feel tired. I will stop here and come back later. Thanks for listening. Take care and bye-bye.